Jason, I believe when we initially interviewed you during the summer, you said that when you started your YouTube channel, it was your goal to leave your day job. Yes. It sounds like a wonderful goal. Yes. I think everybody wants to yes. do that. Um, what would you tell people in the same boat before you were actually able to do that? Mm -hmm. What do they need to know? What are some unrealistic goals or, or excuse me, expectations that would go along with that? You know, I, what I did was when I was working my day job, I made sure I did three things every day for my career. You know, the YouTube, whatever it is, and I knew that I eventually was going to leave this job, but I didn't want to. It's like dating someone and then you let yourself kind of get out of shape and you kind of like, you know, lose contact with your friends and, and your interests and then you get broken up with and you're left kind of like fat, sad, and have no options. So stay in shape. Uh, have great relationships. This way, if you get broken up with or get like, you know, you lose your job, you're ready to hit the ground running. So kind of be ready to kind of slowly kind of integrate other stuff. You know, I read a great art article on The Onion about like, you know, do what you love uh, on your free time and weekends. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean you have to quit your job and it doesn't mean you don't have to not do it. So kind of always be ready um, to uh, kind of engage what you want to do if you lose your job or if you decide you want to quit your job. But you know, quitting, you know, the world doesn't owe you anything. No one, no one cares unless you make them care. Uh, that's the one big thing. Like, no one cares about my, my stuff unless I make, unless I make them care uh, about what, about what I do. So, be prepared to, you know, whether it's saving money or be prepared to take side jobs that you might not want to do. Like, when I left my job, you know, uh, it's great. Like, I make a lot of my, you know, I make all of my money doing comedy-related stuff. Now, with that, not everything I do I love, you know what I mean? There's things that I've done that I was just like, oh, this is in the entertainment thing, but I was like, I really don't want to do this, but you know what? I need that money to do other things. Um, so be prepared to be prepared to do what you can to like live your dream, I guess. Well, you said that you always knew that you would be able to cross over. Mm -hmm. Now, you seem like a realist to me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very bright, and that you, you always probably realize the downside of things. Yes. How did you know, though, that that was going to happen? Because so many people come here with those same plans, and it doesn't manifest. Yeah, it's, uh, the thing about me is I, I came to L.A. kind of like, you know, I didn't come like as a kid. So I, I came and, you know, I worked. I knew, like, for, you know, had a 401k, and, and, you know, I've always been kind of creative and uh, I don't know I came kind of like this very like working class like just work you know came from I came from New York so it was like a, and not to say that you know everyone's working class and has good work ethics but I came and just very realistic like just you know I, I don't I don't care about stuff I don't care about things I just know what I love and I believe that um, other people will and I don't expect them to but it, if I get a chance, and I knew I would get my chance, um, that it would kind of come to fruition. Uh, yeah, I just knew, but I was really, I was pretty smart about it. I wasn't like, hey, people in my hometown and my mom thinks I'm funny, so everyone else is gonna. There's this, you know, there's no shortage, you know, of there's no shortage of talented people, hilarious comedians, good-looking people, people that can direct and write and create. Um, but you just kind of have to be able to work harder than that person uh, that does the same thing, like, right below you, you know, sometimes. Right. Have you seen people or ever even subscribed to this own, your own theory that, you know, yeah, someone's just going to choose me and I'm just going to hang out and, and, you know, talk amongst friends or, yeah, I, I see a lot of that in L.A., a lot of oh, hanging yeah. out and a lot yeah. of people going to films and all that, that's great, yeah. but they kind of think that they'll be, a, someone will see them yeah. and choose them. Absolutely. I mean, I look, I know, I look at myself in the mirror and I was like, I wouldn't look at me and give me anything. Uh, so I, uh, I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe that, um, I can create stuff. When it's something like YouTube, I don't have to prove anything to you. Like, if somebody's like, you know, can you do this? And I can send them a video and, and you know, point to a number. I've been in a meeting, I did a I wrote a commercial for Sony and they were just like, how do I, how do we know you can do this? I pull, I just, you know, turn on the big monitor like thing in a, in a, in a conference room, pulled up a video and I walked over and I pointed to a number and I sat down. I was like, that's how I know. Um, and I have, I have, uh, you know, my resume, you know, people send their resumes and it's like, it's just words. I can send a resume for my acting, writing, collaboration, brand integration, uh, uh, series, producing, anything pretty much anything, uh, hosting, I can send you an example and show uh, a level of success to that. And that's not people looking at me and asking me like, hey, you look like you'd be great, or I, I heard you were really great. It's just like, I just do good work and, and I understand the business of it and then the people, uh, the work gets around. 
it, it's a, a you know it's a volume game. So you're not waiting for anyone to to choose you. I absolutely not. If you know. There was a point where I was, I felt kind of like, I was like, is anyone going to notice me? And then I started putting things out and not caring about that. And then people will notice. If you do good work, people are going to notice, especially on YouTube with the internet. Uh, it gets it gets around. People are going to be like, I met so many people like, I love your stuff. And I'm always surprised. I was like, really? You know who I am? Like, and the, you know, and it's not even just in the, in the Hollywood YouTube comedy thing. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll be getting an oil change and somebody's like hey man I really I, you know I really love you I really love your videos and they're not you they're just like yeah I just happen to watch your I, I like YouTube stuff and your videos kind of come across so making the people that make and I'm not really one of them uh, for the most part but people that uh, kind of make that um, transition from outside Hollywood outside YouTube outside kind of the internet space into kind of uh, hey this just ended up on my Facebook page and I'm just you know a guy that works in an office I think that that's that's really success especially in YouTube